Oh, I love jumping into these. Happy birthday! Just kidding. I don't actually know if it's anybody's birthday, but if it were somebody's birthday, that would be a pretty cool fucking intro. So, happy birthday to whoever that may apply to. Anyways, as you probably guessed, today we're going to be making a pair of Harry Styles inspired pants. And by pants, I mean denim pants. And by denim pants, I mean this denim right here. This is just a swatch. For those of you who don't know what a swatch is, it's just a piece of the fabric to give you an idea of what you're gonna be using. So we're gonna be making a pair of Harry Styles inspired denim pants. They're gonna be high-waisted just like Harry wears, calling him by his first name because, uh, you know, I've listened to a couple of his songs, so therefore we're close, I guess. I'm gonna be putting a cool print on them. I'm gonna be making that by hand. I'm gonna be bleaching by hand, painting it with a little brush. It's gonna be very cute, and I'm gonna be making them flared and fun, and I'm gonna have some cool details in the pockets. It's gonna be very great. This is all part of a big 16-piece handmade collection that I'm actually making for this fashion event right now, but along the way, I'm inspired by a lot of different things, so here we go. I'm gonna get started with the drawing. Harry Styles inspired pants. Yeah. All right, so here are the pants. Here are two pictures of Harry Styles, you know? One of them is him wearing some flared denim. The other is him wearing this like Gucci sweater vest that has this kind of, I think it's a sheep all over it. So we're gonna be doing something similar with that colorway. You're gonna see it. I'm gonna be painting, you know, the hearts. There you go. You get the idea. I feel like I was just holding this in your face, telling you about something you could see. Unproductive, as usual, Joe. So this denim, this design, we're just gonna go ahead and get to it. Yes! My friend Galit is right here. She's helping me design everything. Right now we're making the jeans for Xavier. I'm gonna go ahead and by hand just bleach paint hearts all over this thing. So we're doing like a cool denim pant. Galit helped pattern and design like this uh, this long pant with like a fitted waist. Would you say flares out? Yeah. Yeah, and the pant legs kind of flare out and they're gonna look really cool. We're putting them on Xavier Martin. He's like a, he's like a TikTok guy and he does YouTube, he does all the stuff. He's got a really cool personality, he's really fun. So we're gonna throw these on him. He's also got a cool style. This is gonna be going with a, like a slightly oversized medium t-shirt and we're gonna have a crop sweater vest that's gonna, gonna go on top of this. It's gonna be like made out of rib with these stuffed hearts all over it. It'll be pretty cool. Yeah, so right now by hand, I'm just gonna go ahead and hand paint bleach into this. right now we're both super tired I'm still doing this I've been doing this for like the last hour and a half two hours I got the glove on protect your hands from bleach got the mask on to try and protect my, my lungs from bleach but like it's not it's not working and hopefully um, we'll be able to get to bed by by 1 30 do you have a target sleep time no my, my body gives out when it Decides to. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna leave it up to, ch to nature. <laughs> All right, still going. Hey, Galit. Hello. Now you're on camera. It's a pajama party. This is Galit. This is my design assistant slash friend from school slash helper slash a lot of things. So yeah, we're, we're grinding through this stuff right now. I just bleach painted these pants. I have to do two more pieces. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's gonna be super cute. Yo! Look at those. Hey. Hey, look at those things. Fire. Can't believe I'm saying fire, but fire. Because I say it. Yeah, right? It's <laughs> contagious. Yeah, oh no! No! There it goes. All right, so right now, Galit's ironing the denim pant. Hell yeah. See that? Gonna iron the seam. Oh yeah. Right now, so ironing the seams down. That's the out seam right there and the inseam. Got a cool patch pocket style going on in the front and back. Yeah, it looks super dope, man. Whoa. Yeah, All right, so we got to put the waistband on. Still, we have to hem it, put the belt loops on the waistband. But, holy crap, this is a sexy pant. It's so cool, it's fun, cute, playful, it's a nice denim. We got the cool color blocking going on right here and on the back. Galit, 
did a lot of the construction on this. She was actually super kick-ass. She's got helped me with you know a little bit of the design. She's had a lot of input. She's constructing things. She's kicking ass, and she's really helping me out because we are doing like over 150 hours of work on all of these. I guess technically it's 16 pieces total. It's a lot of work. So we've got this pant. This is gonna be really, really cool. It's like a flared bottom, super cute. We've got the cool, like I said, color block pockets. I love it. I'm super happy. It's gonna look really cool with the full look. Okie dokes. Denim pants? Denim pants. All right, so uh, yeah, these are looking really good. Delete just left. She put a lot of this together. She's got great construction skills, as you can see. I just did the fly, and I'm putting the waistband on now, and then I'm gonna put the belt loops on this thing. So, you know, zippers, that. They're meant to be like a fitted waist, but A-line type shape to the jean after the hip. They're meant to kind of brush the floor and hang over your sneakers, if that makes sense. I don't know, you see those like long pant styles where it kind of drapes over your sneakers as you walk, but it's not too long, so it's not, you know, dragging up all that dust and dirt. This is what this is. So I'm putting in the waistband right now. I just sewed it in on the front, and in the back, I have to go ahead and take this edge right here, marrow it, that's this machine right here that kind of locks off raw edges. And then flip it, flip it again, and then do this thing called stitching in the ditch. So stitching in the ditch is when you sew one side of this. So this waistband here, there's two sides to it obviously because when you flip it inside, you obviously want a clean edge and a clean finish on the inside. So on this side, you sew this one to the pant and with the other side that you're sewing down, you're placing it down and then you're stitching in the seam that you created. So to lock it down so you don't see any rough seam, so you don't see any like, you know, stitches all over the place that kind of ruin your design, you stitch in that seam along the waistband that you sewed down on the outside. So that way, you don't see any extra stitches out here, but when you flip on the inside, it's locked down by a stitch that's hidden. So, stitching in the ditch. Here we go. snap just fell off. Gosh darn. Tommy looking so crazy right now, yeah. Okay, so right now I'm finishing the last time of the jeans and then I'm done with this jean. I'm done with this, why am I banging everything right now? This is it, last time on the jean and then I'm done and you'll see it on me. It looks amazing. Look at that. Joe, that's so nice. Ooh. This so, is such a look. So, uh, yeah, these pants are like a little bit tight on me because they were made for somebody else with like slightly smaller measurements. I think they're just right. Show me, show me the dumpy. Dumpy? What's <laughs> up, dude? <laughs> so this is the crop sweater vest that I made. I'm not wearing a shirt under it because I just realized it looks a lot better without a shirt under it. You know, because I could do <laughs> Um, but You're so weird. these are also, I mean, they're unisex, girls could wear them too. All hand painted, took a long ass time. You guys watched me do it, so you know. Got these color blocked denim patch pockets. Love, wait, show me the dumpy. <laughs> this is the full look. Written it sweater vest. If I saw you walking down the street like that, I'd hit on you. How do they do it on TikTok? But yeah, this is it. So cool, Joe. Got the shoes. Now just get a bunch of cool detail shots. Let's do it. Is that how you do it? Killed it. Hey 
right guys, so thank you so much for watching. I love doing this. I love making full looks. I'm gonna be trying to do that a lot more. Let me know if you have any ideas for cool pieces or cool fits that are inspired by any kind of thing. So yeah, comment below, like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys actually bearing with me here. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.